what I wanted to show you is you can actually apply some breakpoints to monitor the data. For example, I wanted to create a breakpoint here. I right click and set a breakpoint. So the job will wait here. This is, I mean, if you are a programmer, you should be able to understand what a debug mode is, where you can set a breakpoint. In any programming language like .NET or Java, you can do the same thing. At the next point, what I will do is set a filter and a breakpoint. So for filter, I can pick up a column saying customer ID, the operator is equal to, uh, let me pick up a customer ID, DT01, DT01. I don't need to give even the single quotes uh, if I remember correctly because it will auto generate the so this is how it is you can you can set a filter if there is a value or uh, as this particular customer it will show you that customer why is it very much required is we can actually see the behavior of the data if something is going wrong you can enable this and then look for the behavior of the data and then pass the records one by one. So you can enable this option if you don't want it to debug for everything you can say break after number of rows. You are saying maximum is 5 rows and let me say ok. So I have set up a debugger and a filter. I can even move this if I want. Um, actually I wanted to put the one here not here. So let me let me put the debugger here guys customer id is equal to um, dt01 dt01 okay so let us see one option at a time let us have this option now i have this filter here i can also set it as a breakpoint so the job will wait here. So let us run the job and uh, we will see how, how, how the job will wait there until you ask it to pass to the next stage. The job will not complete. It will be holding there. Okay. I did not run the job in debug mode. One second. <laughs> Start debug. I have to run it in the debug mode and you can go and monitor see it stopped here it enabled this particular instance if you click on this you should see each record at a time based on the filter condition and only when you want it to proceed it will proceed or else you can analyze the data I have to fix this issue why is it not showing data I don't know it has to show me the data when I wanted to see here when I say view data even, it is not coming up. I don't know the reason. Uh, if Ashok is online, Ashok, if you have everything installed on your machine, why don't you try this? If you have that, I can actually use your computer and show this as an example. Because I, I, it is not worth it researching why is this not, this not working because by default it has to work. And I don't know the reason. Yeah, can you check on your mission if your if your debugger is working? I will send you the same job. We will run the same job there and see if it works. Yeah, debugger must work anywhere. Just as an example, I wanted to show everyone how to make use of the debugger. So when we break for uh, uh, when we break we will break in other seven minutes. Uh, when in break I will take it offline talk to you. Uh, we can actually I mean I can make you as an organizer if it is working on your mission and show this debugger option because it is very important option. So I don't want to skip that. Yeah. So uh, guys, wh why don't we do this? I can take any questions as of now and I will give you a break for ten minutes. Meanwhile, I will talk to Ashok, get permission on his mission. I will show you the debugger option there.
uh, or I will try to fix it myself in the break. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah, just to show you theoretically how the debugger works. See here. In the same way as I put a filter, in this PDF they have put a filter and a breakpoint. So here you can monitor the data. So he wanted to monitor DT03. You see here on the right hand side you see DT03. It will, it will show you, it will stop there. It is exactly as what is show, shown here. You can actually click on enter and it gives you next record, next record, next record. It will be the same sequence it follows. And at the end, if you wanted to uh, stop the debug mode, you right click and say stop debug. It will it will run it normally. So this debugger is very important. When you say there is a problem with so and so record when moving from source to target, while in while in data services, you can monitor saying why is this record not getting loaded into the target which field of the record is actually causing the problem those kind of problems you can actually run the data in debug mode apply a breakpoint monitor the data and fix the issue so debugger is very important so let us um, break for 10 minutes and uh, meanwhile i will work on uh, uh, on uh, our friend's mission here and we should be able to get it sorted out okay guys and meanwhile do you have any questions for now guys any uh no your wish if you wanted to talk even now in break i can talk to you that should be fine with me Yeah, so what, what was your question? Okay, okay. Yeah, sure. Why don't we do this? After the class, while I am going home, I will have at least 20 minutes time. I will call you and we can talk about it. Okay, yeah. So any other questions at this point? Let me do a roll call uh, on the room. Uh, Ashok, I don't expect any questions from you so far, but if you have anything, go ahead. And Chaudhary Babu, do you have any questions? Okay. Um, Hilal already told he wanted to take it offline. And Krishna, do you have any questions? And Sridevi, do you have any questions at this point? Shri Devi, you there? Okay, I don't get a response from Shri Devi. Uh, but Syed, do you have any questions? But it actually works. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, if it is a question on them, we will uh, we will look it into. Uh, it when we actually run it on his mission where the data services is running properly and we will work on it okay fine so let us uh, take a break guys it is now 9:59 so why don't we meet by 10:10 uh, at most i will wait till 10:15 but don't go beyond that because we have to cover a lot of things today i have to show you at least 10 more transformations today that is my target in next 2 hours we are going to do that so promptly uh, come back by 10.50. Thank you. Uh, one second. Uh, can I, can I, uh, I mean, if you are on call, you can be there. Uh, give me two minutes. Let me take a restroom break and then we will work on Okay. Meanwhile, why don't you do this for me? Can you also build the same job like what I did? 
make the ODS customer as source and customer dimension as the target and do that small data flow or else I can send you this job just to simulate the same job you can always do it so I'm going to send you the same job whatever is in my list. I mean I can also log into your machine and then do it Run it, yeah. Stop debugger and rerun it so that everyone can see what is happening when we run the debugger. And we will also set a breakpoint and a filter. I think this is the same job which we did in the earlier, uh, earlier uh, uh, sessions, right? Okay. Yeah. Can you right click and say run start debug? Yeah. Just run it. And these are all defaults. Yeah, that is system configuration. Uh, do not worry, you can select anything for now. So, uh, we have run this job in debug mode, guys. So, here you will have to say exit the debugger, no. The answer for this is no. And now, you go back into the job, click on the data flow, you will directly be there. And now, can you just uh, click on, no, no, not that binoculars, uh, in between, between the flat file and query, yeah. Click on that so that everyone will see the data. See, this is how it is. The debugger will help you between each and every stage of source to, source to transform and transform to target, you can view how the data is. So, the data here is like this. And can you click also on the, after the, uh, yeah. It will come display it side by side so that let us say for example if we put a filter in between or a conversion in between for example here there is a good thing which we can explore if you see Richard Richard Jordan has a double quotes on either side but on the right hand side you don't see the double quotes the reason for that is we would have put an uh, can you click on uh, the extract transform uh, Ashok we would have put an function there to avoid that that is the reason it is not displaying the double quotes and why is it displaying double quotes by default is Jordan is a keyword it is a country's name and so data dictionary will record it as a keyword so it was displaying and here I have used the L trim and R trim so that the double quotes is gone so if I go back to the, the earlier screen can you click, uh, click on back uh, backwards uh, yeah show so here you see that I have taken out all these extra characters or or anything because I have put an L pad or L trim R trim and I am trimming out anything before a name and after a name. So this is we can see if a uh, transformation is applied we can see while in data whether this is flowing properly or not. And now we will set up a breakpoint and run the same thing again. So can you go ahead stop the debugger put a breakpoint. Uh, after after the query transform and rerun the same job. Now go to debug and say stop debug. Yeah. So we are exiting the existing uh, uh, job. I mean the existing run. And now get back into the data flow. And here. On the right hand side of the query transform, you can put it both the places, uh, but uh, I wanted to, uh, you can set both of them. So, 